Hey everyone, it's the Tinker that here. Welcome to my channel. So in this video I will show you how to install Octoprint in a dockerized environment, effectively sparing yourself the cost of one more Raspberry Pi. As you will see, running Octoprint in Docker is pretty simple. In fact, it is so simple that for me the whole thing's most complicated part was to find a cable that physically can reach the printer from my Docker host. Anyway, let's get to the details. So as you can see, there's a GitHub page dedicated for running Octoprint in Docker and they are already providing a Docker Compose file. We can use this as a basis. So first of all, let's get to our terminal and let's see whether our Docker host sees our printer connected. With this relatively simple command, you can check whether the server sees the printer. So this lists every USB device attached to the Docker host. For now, my printer isn't connected, so it will show nothing. Ok, let's connect my printer. Ok, here we go. The printer shows up as the only USB device attached to my Docker host, which is correct. It's a file server after all, or sort of. Now let's use the Docker Compose template we have seen before. Basically all I'm doing here is correcting the device name to match mine and some cleanup on the file. No big deal. After editing, wherever you have decided to put the file, you just need to start Docker by using Docker Compose up in the same folder. Uh, this is not cool. Ok, and this is why I hate using a relative pass as a docker volume. So it can be messy. Anyway, let's fix this. To get around this issue, instead of using a local directory in the same directory where the docker compose yaml file is, we will just use something we call a named volume. So a named volume is basically also a folder or directory, but it is managed by docker. So when you are using a name volume, you can be pretty sure that there won't be a permission issue or something like that. Docker also stores and handles all your named volume in a central location. So on top of that, it's easier to backup. You just copy the whole stuff to a backup drive whenever you need that. But anyway, let's get back to the topic of this video. Finally, so you can see Everything looks good and Octoprint is booting within our Docker container. So let's wait for it a second to boot it up and then let's configure it quickly with our usual settings. The hostname and port you have to enter your browser is the hostname or IP address of your Docker host and the port, assuming that you haven't changed the default port in the compose file, is 5000. Right after this point, basically you set up your printer the usual way. Let's do it quickly to see everything is alright and the printer is recognized by Octoprint. Cool, it's working, so it was easy, right? And now you can freely utilize the storage space of your Docker host or your home server or whatever you have decided to run Octoprint on. Ok, fine, fine, but hey, what about Octolabs? So yeah, you would want to use that, right? Well, I have good and bad news. So the bad news is that you probably won't be able to use your Raspberry Pi camera unless your docker host is a Raspberry Pi, but why would you do that? Anyway, the good news is that Octolabs should run smooth on Linux or Windows or whatever. So technically all you need is a USB webcam and you can enable it for docker just like you did with the printer. Yep, I'm talking about this part, so the process is the same. Connect the webcam Check the device with the ls command we used at the start, then add it to the docker compose file. After that, 
shut down your docker container, restart it and you should be good to go. Once docker successfully managed to map the webcam to your container, you should be able to set up Octolabs just like in case of a Raspberry Pi. Um, well, this is unexpected, right? No, to be honest, it's totally expected. It's just Docker's way saying that, oops, your USB device is not connected. Yeah, currently I don't have the printer connected. Or actually I have, but it is offline. Point is, make sure that both the webcam and the printer is connected and the printer is powered up when you are starting the Docker container. You can power them down later on. It doesn't matter, it's just for the start of the container. Okay, basically we are done. I hope this installation method will work for you. If not, please write it in the comments. I will try my best to help you out. Anyway, happy printing and see you next time. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, hit like. If you want to help my channel and see more of my content, hit subscribe. If you want to check out behind the scenes and want to know more about me, then follow me on social media. You can find the links here. Thank you again and see you next time.